Hi everyone, this is Emily from Shade Design Studio. You will be watching me making um, soap, especially for this friendship soap swap project that I'm in. There are totally nine people, and I'm one of the nine. We are all over the world, uh, some from Ireland, and some from Canada, and some from the US. The person I'm making for is Anita. She is from Anita's La La Land and she requested that I use a fragrance that's kind of oriental but at the same time mysterious and sexy. That's why I'm naming this soap Mystique. I just realized that I forgot to mention there is also one soaper who is from Spain. Okay, back to the soap. Because of the name of the soap that I'm making, Mystique, the colors that I chose to do this soap with are very, very intense and uh, very colorful. You will see me mixing um, three colors, one red, the other one purple, and the third one is dark chocolate brown. Because of the fragrance, um, I chose to just slightly emulsify it with a stick blender and then use a hand whisk to just make sure that it is already starting to trace and then I'll be mixing the color. I've done two color vertical mode swirl before. Uh, that means I pour two colors from two angles of the vertical mode at the same time and fill out the mode and then um, take a long huge stick and try to draw a spiral inside of the mode to create a spiral swirl. I have never done these three colors before so I knew I needed another hand to help me pour three color at the same time. You will see me later on pulling my husband in just to help me pour and then I will let him go. This is dark chocolate brown that you are seeing me mixing. I usually just use dark cocoa powder for chocolate brown uh, when I need it to. I don't use any oxide or um, clay for brown. It seems like cocoa powder is the best colorant when I want that rich dark chocolate. The red that I use to color are usually micas, but this time I wanted that more of a bluish red. Hopefully I'll get it. I use a mixture of uh, bright red mica plus um, red number seven lake dye. The purple I use to color my soap is the pop mica that is discontinued from TBK. After I'm done with my purple mica, I will have to find a replacement for it. But for now, I'm okay. I made a boo boo when I was mixing the color. I'm playing slow motion right now. See, there you go. You just saw me drop my little silicone mixing ball into the soap. I already work really slow. This obviously is making me even going slower. Okay, mixing the color is kind of boring. Let me fast forward 800%. I always wish that I have a fast forward key that I can play when I'm mixing the colors for my soap. That would be great, wouldn't it? One thing I forgot to mention is that this fragrance oil that I'm using has a very high um, vanilla content and so I know it's going to brown my soap. For the color scheme that I'm doing, I cannot afford to have the red and the purple to brown. So I have to use vanilla stabilizer and that's what you just saw me pouring. The vanilla stabilizer that I bought from Nature's Garden is actually pretty effective. But after about 6 months to 8 months, the soap is still going to brown a little. Consider the recommended usage rate is only 0.3%. That is very good. Let me read off some of the words from the manufacturer's description about this fragrance. It says it's irresistible floral bouquet of gardenia, tuberose, sweet vanilla, and exotic musk. 
And it also says that it is sure to intoxicate your senses. Well, I guess that's the sexy part. Since I know that this fragrance oil speeds up the trays, um, that's why I chose to mix the fragrance oil at the last minute after I finished mixing all the colors. Even then, my soap still got thick really quick. This is kind of funny. Just listen to our conversation now. Which one do you want to pick? No. Come on, just pick one. Purple. Oh, fine. No, red. To put a put on clothes, please. I'm wearing clothes. I'm wearing a Super Bowl. Do you see that? <sighs> now, I'm gonna pour up on three directions, okay? So I'll do red. You say you want purple. I said red. Fine. Three directions, okay? Okay, go. Okay, I admit, I'm kind of like a soap Nazi. When I'm making soap, I'm actually pretty mean. So when I called for my husband's help and he was watching Super Bowl, which I care less, um, he was actually pretty pissed off. So that's why we talk the way that we talk. This fragrance that I use for uh, Mystique Soap actually does ash the soap no matter what I do. Even if I cover the soap up or spray um, alcohol on top, it still will ash a little. You will see um, at the end of the film that I will show you. Now I'm going to use a big huge chopstick and I'm going to just draw some spiral in the middle. I'm still having a problem with the soap traces too fast. I think it has something to do with the fragrance oil I love to use, which is usually pretty floral. Um, even after using full water amount without any discount, it still started to thicken up quite fast after I poured the fragrance oil into the batter. All right, now I'm going to show you how it looks like 30 some hours later before I cut it. And then I'll cut it and show you the nice looking pictures later. Okay, this is it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.